Hello friends and welcome back to Stein Flight. If you are learning web development and you are a beginner and you face problem in hosting whatever small project you create, be it a small HTML file or HTML CSS, maybe you know you're working on some basic website or a couple of web pages, and you're always confused where should I host them so that you can share those you know designs or portfolio or web pages to with your friends or with your colleagues or in your school projects, in your college project, etc. Then this video is for you. In this video, I'll explain to you how you can host your small web development projects using AWS. Yes, I've already created a video for AWS hosting in which I've covered the basic, most basic and the cheapest way to host websites on AWS, but that was for dynamic website. For example, if you want to host a WordPress blog or if you want to host a website made on PHP or if you want to host a website made with Node.js, then you can use the light sale service of AWS, which I've covered in the previous video. So go check that video out. But if you are just beginning to learn web development, if you're in college or if you're in school and you have created just, you know, a few web pages using basic HTML and CSS and you want to host those web pages so that you can flaunt what you have created with your friends, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll start from absolute scratch. Yes, I'll start with creating an account on AWS and then I'll show you how you can use AWS services to host your web page which can have HTML code, CSS code and even JavaScript code. So let's get started. So this is how a basic AWS homepage looks like. This is the, uh, you can visit it on this particular URL, aws.amazon.com and you'll get this particular, you know, web page. Now, like I said, you know, we'll start by creating a basic uh, account on AWS. Most of the things are free uh, for, you know, someone to try and we won't get into uh, the bait things. We'll just, you know, post a simple website, like I said, you know, with a couple of HTML pages, I'll be hosting one project which has just a single HTML page and a CSS file. So let's see how I can do it. So let's start by creating account. I click on get started for free. And this is what I get. I will click on create free account. You have to provide your email address, then your account name, choose a name for your account. You can change this name in your account settings after you sign up. So this is just a basic username. I'll write Abhishek uh, 7007, verify email address, make sure this is, we've sent, so they've sent an email verification. I entered the six digit OTP that they sent me on email. You can also do that. Then I'm entering the password. Enter password, which is secured. Let's just move on. Not now. So I have to fill in these details. Let me just quickly do this. All right, you have to provide your credit card information, which is a little tricky because I don't have my credit card right now. Let me get it. So when you sign up, you'll have to add your card details. Although, you know, we won't be using anything that is paid, but yes, for formalities and it will deduct two rupees like you can see. It's asking me for a deduction of two rupees from the account just to verify your card. So if you don't have your own credit card or a debit card, you can use, you know, someone else's card. It's just a matter of two rupees and it's just a formality. So we are not going to use anything that is paid. There are too many steps. So we do this. We will be getting an SMS. QDB 540 D. The hell man, 3RXS4Q, the security check is a little annoying, come on, E3B2S5, what the hell? Please type the numbers you hear. I had to play the music, I had to play, I listened to the security check code because I couldn't figure it out. So let's see the I've got the OTP, okay, this is the OTP, I'm using my phone. What the hell? There are too many steps, but yes, you know, once, this is just a one-time thing if you're done with this. So now, like you can see over here, sub select the support plan. So I'll go with the free support plan because I don't need support and you should also go with this one. I think with this, yeah. So finally, our AWS account is set up 
and let's go to the AWS management console. All right, so we'll have to sign into the console and we get this web page and here I enter the email address, click on next and then I enter the password. I hope I entered the password. All right. So finally, we are in the AWS console. You can use this to understand, you know, everything that's there. And I will be covering step by step a lot of things uh, that, you know, you might require or you might use uh, different services, different settings, different, you know, uh, you know, entities that AWS has like IAM rules, etc. And I'll talk about all those in the upcoming videos in this series. But yes, let's start with you know, basic hosting of a web page, like I mentioned. So what we'll do is we'll be using the S3 service today. S3 is a basic, you know, uh, bucket storage provided by AWS. So it's like, you know, you can store static resources. When you say static resources, it means like, you know, things like images or videos. So at study tonight, what we use S3 is for, you know, storing backups of the website and for the database backups then we use s3 to store uh, profile pictures of all the users and you know for our authors we use s3 to store images that they upload while they write articles and create content so we also use s3 but yes s3 can be used for a lot of things like i said you know for every static resource you can use s3 and html css and js these are also static resources. So we'll be using S3 today to host these files for us and then you know, we'll be accessing them through using a URL and that's how we will be hosting our web page. So let's get started. So what I'll do is I'll go to S3. This is how the S3 uh, basic dashboard looks like. I'll go to create bucket. I'll name my bucket my first S3 bucket or let's say my website all right if this is fine aws region is you know something where this bucket will be created so aws has a lot of uh, data centers it's, uh, scattered over different geographical regions so you can pick anyone you can even choose india but i think the free tire is less in india but okay let's go with mumbai ab south one or i could have just gone with you know the default setting which was use top hop let's just go with this and this is fine we'll just for now we'll just you know keep everything as it is block all public access although i do want public access i acknowledge all right so i don't want to block public access although uh, for security purposes you should do it but we do just want to host uh, you know basic web page using s3 so i just you know uncheck this and then say okay i acknowledge that the setting is not secure but that's totally fine i'll go to advanced settings and yeah, everything is fine. So I'll create the bucket. This already exists. So here, you know, I've used this name now. ST basic website. You know, you can name your S3 bucket as per your requirement. You can even use your name, right? Abhishek, hyphen, my first website, etc. You can use anything that you want to. So let's just, you know, now try to create the bucket. Yeah, so now it's creating the bucket. All right, so now we have this ST basic bucket ready and we can upload a file to this. So for uploading a file, I have created a basic portfolio, which is, you know, a very simple portfolio that I've created using the CSS Flex property that is a responsive one and it has some, you know, basic features. So it's super basic. It has both the HTML and CSS code inside it. So what I'll do is just, you know, download this so i have this here if i open it up okay so this is the portfolio that i'm getting now this is the file that i have study night playground dot html let me just upload this file to my s3 bucket add files go to downloads upload this is the file now for permissions i want to grant this as public because then only i'll be able to see this yeah so i don't think you know we have to add any other property i think yeah that's it so you upload the file and then you just click on upload and let's see you know if we will be able to access this or not or we will have to change some configurations so this is how it is looking 
uh, this name is not right. I don't like the name. So what I can do is just quickly close this. So here you can see the file is there, right? So if I go to this file, I can go to object actions and I can rename my object and I can say, okay, my portfolio. All right, not HTML and I save the change. So now this is it. If I open this, I think, you know, it will not open because it says access denied. So one way to make this public is uh, I just go here and if you want to, you know, share this for a couple of hours or let's say, you know, you know that, okay, now you want to share, then you maybe want to make some changes. So you can go to this object actions and you can use this option, share pre-signed URL and you can set how for how many hours it will stay public. You can create the pre-signed URL and using that URL, these, this file can be accessed. But I don't want to do that. I want this file to be publicly readable. So I cannot do this using edit. So let's just go back to our bucket. So inside uh, the bucket, what we do is we go to the permissions part. We know that, you know, the public access is enabled. Objects can be public. So what we do is object ownership, bucket own enforce. This is disabled. So we go to edit and we enable this. All right, I acknowledge that ACLs will be restored and I save the changes. So now I think I should be having the option to make my portfolio public. So let's see, make public using ACL. All right, when public read access is enabled and not block public access settings, anyone in the world can access the specified objects. So what we do is we click on make public and now our HTML file is public. So this is the object URL. This is the public URL and you can copy this URL and I can go to a new tab. I can enter this. If I hit this, I am seeing my portfolio, right? And if in other browsers as well, if I just use this URL, I get access tonight. Yeah. So it was just for some time, maybe, you know, the rules that we have changed in the, uh, you know, our file may take some time to propagate because AWS is a large network. So as you can see now, our portfolio is like, so this is the most basic way to host any particular, you know, basic HTML or CSS or JavaScript file, just the static ones. For the dynamic ones, the easiest way is light sales and I've covered in the previous video, so you should check that out. So that's how you host a website or a basic web page using AWS and it is the most easiest way you don't have to worry about, you know, any hosting service. AWS is the best hosting service out there. And this is how you can get started with it. Yes, I know creating the account is a little hassle, but I think once you are done with that, I think everything would be super easy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you face any problem while doing this, while following this uh, steps that I've shared, you know, please post your comment and we can discuss, I can help you out with whatever uh, issues that you're getting. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to the channel. I post good videos like this regularly and I'm creating a completed series on AWS services. So if you want to learn about AWS, you should definitely subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.